Hi, it's Terry from uh, Real World Boating again. Just uh, wanted to continue on with the uh, bow thruster um, video that I started a while back. So uh, I'm still not quite finished, but I've got them both attached to the boat temporarily. It's not, but this is more uh, just making sure that everything's going to work out before I fully uh, connect everything up and, uh, and plus it's helping me decide what to do kind of uh, design as you go type of thing so um, go ahead and test it this is a controller this is a remote, remote control uh, controller it's actually a um, <coughs> controller for a hoist uh, an electric hoist um, so I adapted that to the uh, uh, 36 volt uh, Minn Kota um, trolling motors that I had in the last video so I adapted that and uh, so now I can when I'm underway and coming into a marina or leaving a marina I can uh, go ahead and uh, uh, use the remote control so I can do it all from back in the cockpit so a couple video a couple footage here of me uh, uh, using the bow thruster remotely so it's just port and starboard um, and so we got two separate trolling welders like in the last video and so we'll have those going so I'll have some uh, footage here of the trolling motors working. So first will be the starboard one so go ahead and see that one. You should see the line tighten. It's a little bit hard to see the propeller. It's underwater, but you'll see the line tighten and the boat pushing there and then releasing it and the line will slack and then we'll go to the port side and that one will work. And so yeah, got those running. And so I'll get some uh, closer uh, footage here so you can actually see the propellers going roundy roundy. Uh, because of the light, I'll probably go on the starboard side there. So. Okay, here is that starboard side uh, bow thruster, uh, trolling motor adapted to a bow thruster, so you should be able to see it pretty good here. Nice thing about uh, using these trolling motors is that they might not have as much thrust as a regular uh, bow thruster, but oftentimes with bow thrusters, you're limited to like 15 seconds or so usage at a time, uh, kind of like a starter motor on a car. Um, and so you don't want to burn out the, the motor, but these are designed to just keep going. So you can just turn it on for a very long time the stick floating in the way there and just leave it going on and on and on for you know an hour if you need to although I can't imagine you need it to go that long but you can just keep going and keep going and keep going uh, or you can just click it on and off really fast like I'm doing right now if you need fine-tuning adjustments although I doubt uh, Sailboats typically steer very well by going forward, but of course with a sailboat you have to have water flow across the rudder in order for the boat to steer. If you're <coughs> not moving in a sailboat typically uh, with a fixed inboard and a sh uh, shaft, um, you have to have water flow across that rudder in order to steer the boat. So with bow thruster you can actually at least turn it around and point in the right direction if you want to 
and not be moving anywhere, uh, no flow across the rudder. So pretty nice feature uh, as far as that's concerned. And also when you're going into marinas, oftentimes you are going very slow. Um, and so the slower the water is flowing past the rudder itself, the less steerage uh, you have. Um, and so uh, as a lot of sailboaters know, that if you're going really fast, your helm is very responsive um, because uh, you got massive amounts of water flow across the rudder. And, unless, of course, you're under sail and you have like a weather helm or something like that, uh, which can affect that as well. But uh, that's a whole different ball of, uh, ball of wax there. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to show that, making progress on this. And it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Um, as you can see on deck, I just got kind of a bunch of wires and stuff that's not all figured out and things are all just temporarily tied off um, but it does work uh, as far as moving the boat uh, and then I'm just trying to streamline it so it is uh, gonna be uh, something that's relatively easy to hook up um, and then uh, take down. Uh, the more difficult it is, the less likely I will use it. Because uh, if it's a pin in the butt, um, I'll just go in without a, without a butt thruster. But um, it is a Spencer 53, as I've said in the past. So Laissez Faire is a, is her name, and uh, so it is a pretty uh, pretty big boat. And then sometimes marinas uh, have very tight slips. Uh, and so uh, the tighter the slip, the more you would want a bow thruster. Um, although wind's not a huge deal with the uh, sailboats, you know, it's supposed to be windy when you take a sailboat out because, you know, you want to sail. Um, at least I do. Uh, a lot of sailboats are motoring and stuff. So back over to the port side here. So you can kind of see that. You can see a little bit of a in the wa in the sunlight. You can see a kind of a wave that gets pushed from the force. So you can kind of see in the water. I have some pads that are connected to the bow thruster, um, and so there's a a soft closed cell foam pad that's pushing against the hull as to not damage the bottom paint or anything like that. I don't think it would even damage the fiberglass itself, but uh, I don't want to scratch up my bottom paint and have barnacles and stuff like that. So I do have a pad that's connected up um, down there. And then I sh hopefully my plan is to like basically leave that part there with a uh, connection to that stanchion there. And then I'll rotate the motor itself aft and then pull that up and then have it fastened off to this next stanchion aft. Uh, it should just about reach across there pretty closely. And so I can just store them on deck uh, right uh, next on the stanchions themselves. So it should be pretty good. Of course, I have to some design and some development for that, but it should be relatively easy. I'll just bring the battery pack out, plug it in. I get the battery packs, a bunch of wires and stuff. I'll have to uh, put uh, you know UV sheaths on those to make sure that the the wires don't degrade in the sunlight if they're going to be left on deck. Um, and so I'll be able to just clip them in. Probably use Anderson plugs, Anderson clips for the power. Um, for all of them and just connect them right up. It should be good to go. So anyways, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going. So, uh, yeah, uh, making progress on the bow thruster. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.